Miles and Creative, amongst a bunch of other things. Miles is coming to the game, and I attempt rank mode. Let's check it all out. Okay, first we have one leak, and they've added the Mega City Galleries to Creative. So that means it'll probably come in a future update because we didn't get it today. That's exciting that we'll actually get Mega City in Creative mode. Now, obviously, a really exciting part of today's update outside of Creative is that now you can turn on ranked mode. And it's a pretty cool interface. You can turn it on and off. And I may play one game just to see where I get ranked at the end of this video. So if you want to see a creative bot playing Battle Royale, I'll just have a quick uh, snippet of that. Okay, now let's go over the updates in Creative. First, they've added back creator pages. So if you click on a map, so this is the big inflatable death run, which is made by Bonnie Kiwi. You can see down here more from this creator. You click on that and you can see all of these maps made by Bonnie Kiwi. So I'm really excited that is back and hopefully it's working for real now. Because really what I want this to be is more from this creator and then hopefully we'll add a button just to the left of it that says follow this creator. And then in discovery, hopefully they have like a subscription feed thing so you can see new updates from your, the creators you follow. Please epic. Next, this is kind of cool, but we finally got chug cannons in creative. I'm not sure why it took so long for them to give us this, but it's nice that we finally have it for both UEFN and creative 1.0. They have updated the mounted turret so that now it's an actual prop device. Now, this is a device I haven't used a lot in my maps, but making it so now you don't have to have it attached to anything, I think is really nice. But what does it look like in the game? Oh, look, you can turn off the base and it just acts as a vehicle, it looks like. Wait a second, I want to see what that looks like when I start. Oh, cool, it just kind of floats there. That looks kind of awesome. And then you can just jump in it. Okay, so it is like a true vehicle then. Oh, but beware, it's got the bug where when you turn the base off, but you can't copy it. So I can copy that one, but when I click on this, I can't copy it. Oh no, so be careful with that. They've also updated both of the motorcycles. So before you couldn't pick a color, it was just a random color. But now if you go in, you can choose the visual variant. So this one has red, blue, gray, and white, which is nice because I'm always looking for the red one. The red one is just so sharp. And the dirt bike as well has that option for green, orange, red, dark blue, pink, purple, and yellow. I mean, who doesn't want to have that mustard yellow dirt bike? Oh yeah, that is uh, some good looking stuff right there. I don't know why they didn't release without the ability to do that, but it is what it is. Next, they've added a ton of new resources. Let's actually just pop these out into an item placer here so we can really see what these look like. Okay, just laid them all out. Let's look at them. We've got the wheat here, but the textures on it are really messed up. The materials, whoever uh, has the materials on this, you gotta fix that. We got a pumpkin, which is cool. I mean, we got pumpkins already. We got these limes, which is nice. We got the herbs here. And then this is really disappointing. You got this really cool insect, but the materials on it aren't working properly. So it's, uh, I don't know, it's all black. I mean, the black color is cool, but it's supposed to look like this really awesome green. Disappointed. All right, and then I gotta mention this nut here. My friend, Typical Gamer, just made a really cool map called Fort Nut, and it's all based on the nut and squirrels and stuff like that. So he's super excited to have a consumable. That's a nut. Got this really cool, like, tooth or bone here. I love this turkey. Look how big it can get. A bottle of milk. Actually, I love the logo on it. All these things are really useful for when you're making a map to have, like, oh, look, like, it's the pancake syrup with the mancakes logo on it. I mean, that looks fantastic. We got some butter, and then we've got a ton of different dino eggs here. I and mean, these all look really, really cool. We got another, like, shark tooth, a diamond, and then this is the most disappointing of the whole update. We've got this black ball here, but it's supposed to be this raptor eye. That looks like straight up like Sauron's eye or something. And it, the textures aren't working. I'm so sad about that. But those are all the new consumables. Very cool. All right, next, this is an update we've needed forever. But if you place down a billboard, you see your sample text on there. And you, when you go on the backside, there's nothing there at all, which is useful when you need, I don't know, some sort of an object that's invisible. But when you go into the settings, you now see a display mode option and you can see one-sided and two-sided. So now when you turn on two-sided, when you go on the back, look, there is the sample text on both sides. Why have we had to wait so long for this? Right now for the most exciting part of today's update is we have the coaster track galleries. Let's throw these out. I have not really looked at these yet. Oh baby, look at this. Oh my gosh. We've been waiting for this for so long. I wonder if they're like operational. Like we got to grab a baller here. I'm just going to put it right here at the end of this one. And then let's grab this. And then here we go. We're just jumping. Well, uh, uh, no, they're not really operational. I mean, you stick in it pretty well, but I feel like in the game, there was like effects on it and all sorts of things. So, I mean, I guess it still works. It's just not great. Hold on, hold on. Let me put this at the top of the drop. See what it feels like when we're going down the drop. Okay, here we go. And I mean, it feels not terrible. You're kind of bouncing around a little bit. I wish there was a way to like turn it on. All right, regardless, let's make a little roller coaster. I want to make like the ultimate drop. I wonder if there's a good setting like for this. It looks like if you put it on grid snap two, 
they clip together pretty good. Like you can see this just kind of like matches up perfectly on Grid Snap too. Okay, that's nice. See if that works with all of the pieces. Uh, yeah, Grid Snap 2 is it. All right, here's like a little course I made. Let's test it out with the giant drop. Let's see if I can get through this whole course without like touching anything. So here we go. We're gonna fall, no hands. And uh, I mean, whoa, I'm off the track. Oh no. I don't know if the many drops. Yeah, okay. You can't do it with no hands. Let's see if I can do it with hands on. Okay, here we go. We're gonna, gonna go down slowly. I mean, not too slow. Okay, I'm off the track, but we're gonna keep on it. All right, yeah, we're kind of cruising. Let's go down. I mean, this is pretty cool. Once again, oh no, I fell off. I can't even stay on it. What's the point of these tracks if you can't stay on it? Sometimes I feel like Epic just releases stuff just to release stuff without really thinking it all the way way through maybe there's gonna be a spline in uefn or something that is more operational similar to like the zip lines oh man i can't even get up the hill on this oh, come on you can do it let's go oh, okay we made it over the hill oh, yeah, that's a bit of a bumpy ride here very slow going at some of these corners but we're gonna make it to the end of our course here it is oh, that last hump was a little hard and we're off yay most boring roller coaster ever <laughs> cool pieces though i especially love these pieces these look awesome now normally we would have patch notes for uefn but they have yet to release them i don't know why i can't see anything obvious in the game mode that they've released so maybe it's just bug fixes i, I don't know but let's go check out ranked mode and see what i can get this is gonna be my first rank zero build match it's only available in duos so let's see what i can get place your bets in the comments right now guess what rank i'm gonna be my guess is bronze three just gonna follow my partner see oh he already jump where are we going buddy we're going to the citadel oh this could be a quick match oh dear me there are so many people here yeah I i'm gonna be ranked really low i don't even know how the citadel's laid out i just don't i just don't play this game enough and yet my teammates down ah, <laughs> place 50th okay let's see what my rank is man that was way too quick this is terrible okay here we go Gold too! <laughs> what? How am I gold too? This system's broken. I want to know what your guys' ranks are. Let me know in the comments below as well.